Hello everyone. Welcome to scarier.com. I am your educator Dr. Lara Munir and today we are going to talk about cough reflex and hemoptysis. Like other uh, many reflex mechanisms, the cough reflex is also very important to maintain the integrity of the pulmonary system. Let us look at how we are going to proceed with our lecture. We are going to start off by talking about uh, the physiology of the cough, what are the major players, what are the efferent nerve fibers, what is the brain area that has the cough center and how it interacts along with the other centers uh, residing close by to maintain an overall homeostasis in the patient. Afterwards, we are going to ascertain the various types of cough uh, based on the time duration and etiology. We are going to talk deeply uh, in detail about the chronic cough, how do we assess the chronic cough, what are the various important uh, tools we have in the history, what are the important questions to ask, what are the various things to look for in the physical examination of the patient, uh, important in the evaluation of the nasopharyngeal tree and the nasopharyngeal part or the GIC symptoms or the pulmonary symptom along with the cardiac evaluation. Then afterwards, after the discussion of a chronic cough, and we are going to uh, focus on hemoptysis, which is a cough uh, along with the blood. We are going to define what is hemoptysis, what are the various types, how do we characterize it or classify it based on the amount of the bleed. We are looking to, in detail, uh, look at the various etiologies, uh, speci specifically focusing on the most common causes uh, catering to the various areas of the world, in the western world and in the overall world population and how do these various etiologies cause hemoptysis and uh, how does the magnitude of hemoptysis give us an indicator of the underlying pathology. Then uh, the, uh, again the evaluation tools we have of the history, physical exam and the uh, diagnostic tools what are the various important questions which we are going to ask in evaluation of hemoptysis from the patient and uh, how? what is the relevance of these questions? How do these questions help us in arriving at a diagnosis? What are the important things to look for in the physical exam? And what are the accompanying labs uh, which we do uh, in these patients? What are the other system, uh, systems like the coagulation system, the renal system and the immunological system which we have to evaluate to arrive at a diagnosis? Then uh, with a very sophisticated diagnostic tree, we are going to stepwise rule out the various pathologies uh, and uh, in, in stepwise, uh, we are going to lay out a plan of how we are going to evaluate the patient, be it with the help of a chest x-ray or a bronchoscopy or a, a CT scan. And if we are unable to control the bleed uh, in the patient, then what are the uh, important things which we have uh, in the patient to find out the uh, what are the important steps which we can do in case of a massive bleed uh, to number one control the bleeding for example what are the early steps we can do what are the uh, uh, later steps which we can do and if we are not able to control the bleeding by the early establishment of the airway then what are the extreme measures which we have to con control the bleeding in these patients. So to watch this complete lecture and along with it thousands of other medical lectures on any area of your interest Log on to scardia.com and start your free trial today.